morning it's actually 1 47 so it's not morning anymore but i did not create an intro for this so hello good afternoon good morning welcome to another what i eat in a day video i always have these like grand plans for what i eat in a day videos i'm always like oh, i'm gonna make this i'm gonna buy this i'm gonna go here i'm gonna eat this and then it doesn't happen so this morning i was planning on having this like very extravagant and delicious breakfast that didn't happen because i came home by 12 something and i skipped and went straight to lunch so i made like a little wrap you guys saw it was actually really good it's like a tuna spicy sriracha tuna wrap my yogurt which i like to put yogurt into my um stuff instead of mayo it was spoiled so i couldn't do that so instead i just added extra sriracha i added half of an avocado tossed in some tomatoes in there pepperoncinis it was really good but everything fell apart so i had to eat the remainder of the tuna separately you guys saw it was really good it's a very like easy healthy snack to, or lunch lunch whatever you want to call it to have and if you're short on time i highly recommend meal prepping it and having it for the week and then just like tossing it into a wrap or on toast or something like that it's just it's really good that was my lunch and i had my little waffle as a dessert with some jam you guys i cannot get enough of it it's just so good now i am sipping on coffee this is my third cup of the day notice my holiday holiday mug anyways i figured i'd do a little intro to the video it's two o'clock almost two o'clock i have a meeting so i'm gonna get to that and then this evening is where like the good stuff is gonna happen because i'm gonna make chili and i will walk you through it how i make incredible delicious and very very easy might i add <laughs> chili it's just super good super easy and it's been very gloomy in la these last couple of days and it's wednesday so it'll last us today and tomorrow which is perfect because on fridays we always go out to eat so i'm very excited to show you guys how i make it and i will walk you through it all so yeah okay so i am about to head into the kitchen turn on a podcast or no not a podcast um an audiobook and make some chili it is literally four o'clock on the dot I'm going to start it now so that way I can just go back and work and do my thing while it cooks. The literally the only thing that you have to do that requires time for this is all of the like chopping and all of that. So let's get into the kitchen. All right, so I have everything in front of me, and I guess the only thing that will require chopping is the onion, jalapenos. I'm gonna add some carrots in it as well and a little bit of garlic and yeah everything else is canned obviously so I'm gonna be using these diced tomatoes that I got from Target today they are specifically made for chili and then I will be using ground beef 
this is the lean one and then um i'm not sure if i'm gonna use four cans of beans or three so i have black beans here i have pinto beans and two cans of red kidney beans so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get the pot out i'm gonna drizzle some olive oil in there and then while it kind of like heats up i'm gonna chop up the onion the carrots and the jalapenos saute that add the beef and then the rest of everything and then obviously i forgot the most important ingredient which is beef bone broth so i'm going to be using probably two of them and then add water if i if it's like too thick but i think two should be good i like this one the absolute best because it's really good um it's from trader joe's also it has the whole container has 22 grams of protein so this is like a very very protein heavy meal especially when you add the cheese all of that good stuff but anyways let's get to cooking the host at the number obtained from that she and i never stayed away from her life the world is broken let's leave it behind and create another kind of life away all right i'm currently sauteing the onion the garlic carrots and some jalapenos gonna do this for another like two minutes and then add the ground beef I've had the chili cooking for about 30 ish minutes it's been like simmering and now I put it on like low heat and I'm just gonna have it like half covered and just have it cook and envelop all of the flavors I'm gonna sip on my kombucha until it's ready to eat pink lady apple it's really good um and yeah that's the little update i tried it it's so good it's very spicy so i hope that it's not too spicy for me high but it's super good final product i really wish it was more thick but that's my fault because i added a little bit too much broth but it will thicken up overnight it tastes so good I'm going to add a little bit of this cheese. I really wish I had sour cream too. almost seven i'm going to make us some tea and have some dessert as per usual this tea has been my absolute favorite it's so good the flavor is really good and if you have stomach problems or if your tummy just hurts or if you just want something to settle it especially after a big meal this is amazing um next time i'm gonna get two boxes because this is like basically empty but yeah i'm gonna get dessert too i'm actually gonna have two drinks so i'm gonna have a persimmon and i'm gonna have some alter eco extra dark no i'm sorry classic blackout chocolate okay i'm still hungry i'm gonna have this chobani flip i love the chobani flips um, there's this one that's really good. It's like a almond mocha one Moco cocoa. I don't even know what it's called, but it's really really good This one is cookie dough with vanilla low-fat Greek yogurt with cookie dough pieces cookie rice grips rice crisps and milk chocolate chips That doesn't sound decadent I don't I don't know what that is. I, I just, I don't know. Let's do a taste test.
These are so good. All of the spoons are in the dishwasher. Hence why I'm using a knife. My mother would kill me.